Hi, this is Mark in the Brown Works Workshop and today we'll do a quick video. How can you tell if your bit is dull? Um, now this is clean, it looks pretty good, but I just had to replace this. Um, this was the result of using this bit. It's going to dull down and you can see there's a lot of tearing in the wood. So I just replaced it. And you get a much, much cleaner cut compared to the the doll bit and a new bit so definitely a, a big difference uh, a lot more frustration with the doll bit you have to sand more um, so you can keep your bits nice and sharp uh, try to clean the bits because uh, sometimes uh, sap and all if you're working with wood can gunk up on some of the bits, but even cleaning them, uh, <clears throat> if they're still you know, giving you tear out like this, it's definitely time to change your bits. Uh, now these bits, uh, you can get some cheap ones, like 15 bucks on Amazon. Um, this one's not that cheap it was still 20 some bucks uh, but you can definitely get higher quality bits um, some of them have different coatings uh, different zinc coatings or uh, they may have their own type of coating astra coating or uh, different types of carbide um, and bits uh, it's a toss-up whether or not you spend uh, more or more expensive bits and they last a little bit longer versus just buy a bunch of cheap bits and you have to change your bits more often so I haven't come up with the perfect formula if anybody out there has the uh, you know, more knowledge of you know should you spend more or more expensive bits or just use more of less expensive bits. Leave us a comment. We'd love to hear from you. And as always, thank you for watching. Bye now.